Welcome to Mary Ward Course Selection 2015. You will be using the My Blueprint Education Planner to make your course selections. If you used My Blueprint last year, then you will already have an active account. Enter your email address and password to get started. If you are using My Blueprint for the first time, Go to www.myblueprint.ca slash tcdsb and select Mary Ward as your secondary school. You must enter your Ontario Education Number, OEN, which can be found on your timetable or your credit counseling summary, which is available from your teacher advisor. You must also enter your birth date. Once you have signed into your account, you will be directed to the home page, which looks like this. Select the High School Planner box. This is what a typical page looks like for a Grade 9 student, also known as a Year 1 student. The courses that you are currently taking will be displayed on this screen. Courses that you have already completed will also be listed along with final marks. You will be choosing courses for grade 10 or year 2 in the second column. First, select your grade and your TA group by choosing one of the boxes that says Course. Select the TA tab. Scroll down until you see your grade and TA number. In this case, we are selecting grade 10, TA number 8. You can see that this course has now been added. If you are going into grade 10, you must select the grade 10 Physical Education and Religion Package, PRP 10. this course package under the Health and Physical Education tab. If you are in Extended French, you will find this course under the Religion tab. Follow the same procedure to select other compulsory and elective courses. To select English, click on the English tab and choose a course. In this case, we will choose Grade 10 Academic English. The English course now appears along with the other two courses. Proceed in this manner until you have selected all of your courses. If you want to choose the ACES program, which is a package <coughs> of three courses, English, Math and Science, then select on the ACES tab and add the package to your course selection. It is important to add two alternative choices for electives in case the school cannot schedule your first choice into your timetable. Choose your electives carefully and wisely because you will not be able <coughs> to change them in September. At Mary Ward, we do not allow grade 9s and 10s to change their elective courses once the new school year has started. Now let us look into the future at the profile of a grade 10 student. This will be you in September. We can see all the final marks for this student's grade 9 courses. The courses that the student is taking in grade 10 are listed in the second column. And in the top right corner, we can see the graduation tracker, which has a cute little pie graph that indicates the student's progress toward graduation. If this student completes all of her current courses, she will have finished 18 of the 30 credits that she needs to graduate. A similar process is followed for Grade 11 course selection. First you choose your grade level and TA number.
This student has now chosen the Grade 11 Functions and Applications course for math. Notice that when you select a course tab, the description of the course appears on the right hand side of the screen. This is the same description that is listed at the back of the orange course calendar book, which every student receives at the time of course selection. If you want to choose a co-op course, select it under the Cooperative Education tab. Co-op courses are usually for senior students, but if you are registered in one of the specialist high skills majors, otherwise known as SHISM, you may choose to do your co-op course in the summer after grade 10 or 11. Notice that the graduation tracker continues to fill up as you gain credits and move along in your high school journey. Let's view the progress screen. Here we see that this grade 10 student has earned 8.5 courses and has planned 15 courses, which include the courses he is taking this year as well as the ones he has chosen for grade 11. He has completed or planned a total of 23.5 of the 30 courses required for graduation. As you plan your courses for grade 11 and 12, you may find that you do not have a prerequisite for a particular course. A red marker will appear in the box to indicate a missing prerequisite. In this case, the student has not completed grade 11 university level biology, so she cannot take grade 12 biology. My blueprint will tell you that you do not have the prerequisite, so you need to indicate how you intend to get it. You may be planning to take the required course at summer school. There is a box on the sign-off sheet where you can provide this information. We will come back to this later. The graduation indicator is now a check mark in a green pie showing that all required courses for graduation have been completed and or selected. Note that in grade 10 you must take 8 courses, you can take 7 or 8 in grade 11, and in grade 12 you have to take a minimum of 6 courses. Mary Ward also offers two specialist high skills major streams which you can choose as you're going into grade 11. They are construction and health and wellness. Check out this box for more information. Course selection time is also an opportunity to consider your individual pathway plan. Take a look at the pathway eligibility box in the lower right corner of the high school planner screen. Select a pathway and explore the possibilities. The Pathway Planner allows you to choose an area of interest, a post-secondary institution such as a community college or university, and a province, as well as other filters to narrow down your search. When you click on the link for a specific program, you will be taken directly to the website for that college or university, and you will be able to find out all sorts of valuable information about admission requirements, tuition fees, etc. Now you must review your course selections. Select a pathway that is in line with your post-secondary and career interests. You are not locked into this pathway, you can change it at any time. If you need to add a comment for your guidance counselor, you should do that by selecting the Add Comments tab. When you are done, go to Step 2 of 2 which will take you to the sign-off sheet. If you have added a comment, it will appear on the sign-off sheet. Use the comment box to let your guidance counselor know if you plan to take a new course at summer school or take a dual credit course or register for an apprenticeship through OYAP or to list a career goal or a program that interests you or to communicate about any other issue. Notice 
that this student is missing the prerequisite for grade 12 chemistry, but she has indicated in the comment box that she plans to take grade 11 chemistry as a new course in summer school. Print this sign-off sheet, sign it, and ask your parent or guardian to sign it too. Then submit the form to your teacher advisor along with the student activity fee. You must do this in a timely manner during the four-week period when the course selection function is enabled. Check with your teacher advisor for the exact due dates. Two times a year, you are required to review your individual pathway plan. My Blueprint offers you many options for creating and revising this plan. Visit the Goal Setting tab to set some short and long-term goals for your education, your career, and your life. Use the Resume tab to help you make an attractive resume in several easy steps. Visit High School Planner to map out your entire four or five years of high school. Explore options for college, university, and apprenticeships with the Post-Secondary Planner. You can explore various careers with the Occupation Planner. And finally, check out My Portfolio and Reflections to upload items that are unique to you, including videos or other work that you have done, or to record your responses to key questions. Picking the right courses and choosing the right pathway for you is an ongoing process. Remember, you are not alone. There are many supportive persons ready to help you with these important decisions about your future. See your teacher advisor. Talk to your subject teachers. Meet with your guidance counselor and consult your parents and other students. And remember, choose wisely. That's it for Mary Ward Course Selection 2015.